Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about a different type of blossom. This is one in which I will, we're going to start heading a little bit more casual, uh, which a lot of people love to paint into the painted simply. You know, when you paint casual, that's one of the hardest things to do. And so to, to do that, what I try to do is to develop some of these different techniques and then just kind of mix them up into my painting as I started it and that started making my painting look a little bit more casual and a little bit more casual so for example I you know we've learned a couple of blossoms so far in in this particular playlist of the videos and I would paint a painting with all of those samples in there and then maybe this next one then one more then your painting has all these variations in it and starts to look more casual and then as I got better and faster and faster I started to mix them up a little bit more and that's where we're heading so I'm gonna start with the same thing the little board down here same thing again same brushes same colors I'm gonna take a little bit of my medium white and we'll push this out here into the corner like this right in one corner now I'm going to really uh, change this up because I'm gonna show you a lifting off technique this time so I'm gonna put this down this is a nice wet color for me to work into but I'm really gonna change it I'm really gonna make a quite a bit of a green color into here so I'm gonna push a lot of green into here we're gonna make this like this is part of a, a, a larger part of a, a composition here so we would have if this was a larger composition we'd have a lot of leaves and stuff out in here like this a lot of stuff going on okay and so we're gonna approach painting this blossom quite a bit different and I'm going to be using more contrast and that's the one thing that I want you to watch quite a bit into the paintings is the contrast the, the development between the light and dark colors and then later on in some of the techniques we're going to be talking about warms and cools those are very very important warming and cooling of tones as we get into more advanced flowers um, but here I want you to just watch the contrast. So a lot of light and dark, and I like this type of movement that I, I'll put in here. And uh, this this interest, this just gives so much interest because it's it's uh, it's got a lot of movement to it. Okay, and you know you can soften it like this. You can soften that movement, you know, with your your finger. There was one good thing that I said, ala prema. Like I said, we're doing ala prema here. And one artist said in ala prema that you should never take a movement, um, you know, larger than three quarter of an inch into the back. And, and that's kind of hard because oh, you got different kinds of petals. One of the things I like to do is not take a movement that's going to be larger than my largest flower. Then I know that movement never competes against my largest flower. So if my blossom is going to be this size, my brush movement has to stay relatively small here because you don't want to go like this because then that dominates the painting see that so you're going to have smaller little movements like this movement back and forth like here so that movement stays softer against so you have this movement so the blossom can play against that let's take a little bit of our red we'll stay on our bigger brush here this time we'll start into the center part of our where we're going to have this is where the center of our blossom is going to be okay and then what we're going to do is we'll come in and start to state the, the, the blossom. Now, there's other ones that I'm going to show you. Big brush. You'll see me paint a whole small blossom with a big brush. That's later on. Uh, and they are very, very fun to paint. But we want to stay here um, with the, either our filbert or our flat, like a six or something like this. And I'm going to take some light color down. And let's just model this right into here and make a nice, let's get some yellow in there. Just make a nice kind of a toned whitish type of color, okay? Here, so it's not pure white. It's almost back to your medium white that's on here. And we'll use this now to build our the idea of our blossoms. And again, following the same thing here. This time, it comes in like this, and like this, and like this. We'll build that. And then what we're going to do is pick up more white. Now when I paint this time, what I'm going to be doing is I will strike across here like this. So I'll strike across and I'll strike some in like this and I'll strike like that. They're real quick, what we call strikes of the brush with a lot of thick paint here like this, here like this. Okay. Now in decorative painting, we would make curved strokes for blossoms. In all the prima, a lot of times they try to make it in shorter, straighter sections of color, shorter, straighter strikes of color. 
Now I can, I can push this color in and out. I can push this in and out like this. See how, because I have so much stellar, I can lift that right off of that. Or I can continue to build. And let's just push it like this and push it like that. Okay. So I'll strike it like this and I'll strike it like this. And it looks really messy here for a while as I'm building color. And what I'm doing is I'm watching my movement. I want to have some of the movement so that it has that feeling of being curved without stroking a curve too much here. But I want to build this up and I want some streaks into the petals and I want to build up heavier light out there like that. Okay, but I see all this variation. Sometimes I'd say, oh, I want to see a little more yellow in there. Well, let's just strike a little yellow into some of this. Now you have all of this variation into the painting. And what you're going to do is you're just going to tap your brush back down into some of this dark color that's here and then pinch wipe it so it live so that it uh, pinch and so it takes off most of the color and then we do what we call lift off so see how when i'm lifting off here i'm going back down to the shadow here and so what we do is we lift off right up to the edge where i want to leave that edge of the petal this time just like this so i lift back and I'll leave the light edge of the petal this time out like that. Just like that, see? So I leave the light. So here I can drop in like this and just lift off some of that light here like that. And you can see I can make the light edges of the petals just like this as well. And I can leave them a little bit wider and more variation. I can leave them a little streaky just by stepping over to the side here a little bit like that and leave them more streaky. So I can lift off like this and I can leave it streaky like that, okay? And usually when I do a technique that's like this, this is just like the beginning of it. I will build it several times. So I'll come back in here and strike some and work. So I'll use the light and push the color on. See, I'm way back here on my brush, I'm very lightly. I will curve maybe a little bit, but I'll push color on and leave up towards, leave that edge out there. But if I feel like I lost a shadow a little bit, I will just lift it that back off again and soften that out. So it's a process of building. So I'll come back in here. Let's just lift some of this out like this a bit. Okay, and stroke some down. Curve it just a little bit or straight lines if you want. And I can lift off that edge here but I will play back and forth like this and lift off lift off that red right back up there tap that through you can move your finger through the lifting off technique that I'm showing you here in painting of a blossom is a fantastic technique uh, because it adds so much contrast to interest of the edge so you can use thick paint and lift off the the secret of it when when you're actually doing here is if I take this white, let's say I put it here on the center. So I take a big thing of white and I lay this right on here. Now, that's one thing that's very important. This fusion brush is very, very soft. Okay, so don't go pushing it down really hard or else you blend it. What you want to do is use the softness of the brush and just lay the color right on top like that. So now what I have is actually two layers of color, a, a wet red and then also that white. And so if I take the color that's kind of underneath, put a little bit in my brush and lift like this, I can lift that light color right off, right off, wipe my brush down, tap into just a little bit of that, and I can lift that right back off of that technique. But what's really nice is, see, I can leave it like that and say, okay, I want to make a little light edge there. I can just lift right off until I have a little bit of an edge right there, just like that. And that takes a little bit of practice to be able to use the brush softly. It's so like I say, the technique is not hard. We're not side loading, we're not edging or anything like that. You're putting paint on and lifting paint off. What makes the technique hard is the amount of pressure that you use. Not hard, just to say it's a little more difficult, is the amount of pressure that you use. And I don't use very much pressure. It's like I'm troweling or lip putting it on and then lifting it off, okay? So I can come back in here when I paint this blossom and I can model my whites up like this so I can get some different colors. 
Let's get some yellows and stuff like that into that. I can add some of those colors right down here into this blossom and work that color in as I build this blossom. Lift this, lift that color and lift off some of the shadowing that I have here. And lift some of that shadowing right up into there until I get a look to the blossom that I want here. Maybe build the center. I love to build the center areas of the blossoms a little bit. And if I want more of an edge, I can sit there and strike that whole heavy edge right like that. Then wipe my brush and lift off. If I press a lot, I'll go all the way back down to that initial base. If I press lightly, I might leave some of the original under, I mean, some of the color that I just applied a few minutes ago in there. And so I can control that. So we'll lift this in and out. See, I can lift that off and create streaks and do all kinds of fun things and fill in the blossoms. This lifting off technique is one of the techniques, uh, I say, uh, after I've been doing, uh, you know, painted simply now for three, four years now with these. Uh, it's one of the techniques I use more than any of the others, I think, is the lifting off because it makes a more natural blossom. I like it a lot. So I'm going to put this petal, I'm going to put this petal up on top of that one right there just by putting a heavier layer of white, pinching my brush like this, and then lifting off here until I get the edge that I want to have that, I want that petal to have or work the color back in just a bit. You can pull some of it back in. So you, it's very versatile. You can work it many different ways. Or if I don't like that edge a little bit, I can take some of that off and drop it on there and then wipe your brush. So you see, I'm always wiping, pinch wiping that brush and I can lift that right back off and reshape it. It takes a bit of practice, but these, these kind of casual blossoms like this are really interesting and look completely different, completely different from the blossoms we did earlier. So in the Paint It Simply, you're going to do a lot of different, different types of blossoms, okay? You can drop some darks in. You can soften back. I can push in like that, and I can lift off the edge if I want it. Let's say I want this edge to be more lost. I can push in like this, and then I can push back into reverse and make a softer edge like that. So I can make that blossom that petal edge of that blossom disappear back up over here like this by doing that and then lifting or pulling the color back out. You could, again, combine the techniques, take a little edge and put a little edge on there like that and work those back and forth like that. There's a bunch of different techniques and that's what makes it fun. What you end up doing as you start to learn and practice these techniques is you actually physically just paint a blossom. And so I'll use many different types of brush movements into this blossom. I don't use a technique and say, okay, all my blossoms have to have an edge. I will mix it up. Does that make sense? I will mix it up. I'm painting. I'm having fun. I know I need to get a little edge here. Maybe I'll use a corner of the brush. Or maybe I take a big stroke and then lift off. That's what makes the painting so much fun. But you have to practice all of these. So let's go back in. Let's... Uh, you know, soften out here a little bit of our pretty, let's pull some pretty little red color out like that. A little bit this time into that blossom. Let's deepen our center in there a bit. Let's just work that in and out just a bit. That's kind of pretty little color. Pretty little uh, casual blossom there. And again, let's put in our corner of our, we'll tone that down, a little green and red violet. Just tap and get that kind of brownish color and tap into the corner start right up here in the center and then just go around and you can if you spread out if you tap and then move out real quick you get more of a tap dot type effect if you keep them close together the whole the the whole center stays uh, uh, closer together not as not as much of a dot but more of a like a nice modely movement there that's what I like to have and I use just that little corner like that, building that little corner out like that. Like again, you can come in and, you know, add a little corner of that red violet and, and drop in a little center like we did on the first one. If you wanted to do that, you can have a little light. You'll see me sometimes grab a little bit of light and put a little more lighter yellow in there uh, with a little white and yellow. Move that around, a little white out on the edge. 
to help it blossom, sometimes a little darks. You're going to see all different kinds, but I use the corner of the brush this time. Or in the in the uh, filbert, I will use the corner also on the filbert, do the same. And it'll look a little bit different. The filbert center will look a little different from these. There's all kinds of centers. I, I round some up and some I do this way. But this is just a simple little blossom. And you can look at that. You can take some of that yellow and pull that in and out of your blossom a bit. Here, I like to then take some of the color like that and just add it little streaks of it into the blossom to start adding a little more interest and I'll start physically painting it like maybe I want to build this up a little bit more right in here let's build up this petal here a little bit more but then nope that's a little bit too much so let's just lift out just a bit of my shadow lift that out and let's just lift that out and let's lift a little bit of that out so it's a lifting technique and I will use the lifting technique in all different kinds of stuff. Let me show you this too. I can, I can put on my light color like this. Now, if I wipe my brush and if I lift at a slight little angle, here I will cause the, the, the petal to kind of, kind of turn up. See how it kind of turns up? So there's all different kinds of ways. Let's just, let's just do a regular one here. Not get too advanced yet, Dave. This lift out a little bit and that's it and you can lift out that way a little bit that's what I want to show you the blossom itself looks very different this time as I paint and I lift out I lift out this time just like this now if you get too much where it's not going to lift there just make sure you get some of that dark right in there and lift that out wipe your brush and lift that out that's pretty and I like these little, like little edges. See the little edges and the little streaks in there. That's what makes it pretty. That's what makes the blossom different. And that's what makes the blossom pretty. And you can tap on. You can just stroke like that. That's what I just love because that's a stroke that's going that way. And then just lift off and just leave a little bit of that right there. And it makes it so pretty. So you can play a lot with your blossoms here. Just go boom, boom, boom. And then wipe your brush and lift off what you don't need here. But each time I'm touching it, I'm lifting it off. If you don't, you'll pick up white and put it right back in again. Let me show you here. So if I come in here and say, boom, I'll strike this. And now I want to lift some of that off. If I just lift off and then touch again, I'll put white right back into there. Okay. So you want to wipe your brush every time that you go lifting off. Because see, there's white on my brush. And if I touch it back in there again, I'll make more white back in there. And we don't want that. So we'll just lift off like that. That makes pretty little blossoms. Different way. They have more shimmer there. And this is how we paint a little bit more naturalistic. Not realistic, but a little bit more naturalistic to the blossom. Not as much strokey as like the outlining edge and stuff that we'll have. So here's another way to do blossoms. Then we'll go paint a real casual one on the next one, okay? We'll give that a try, okay? So do a couple of these, and we'll try some more casual ones.